hell am I getting on? Well, it's the 27th of April 2017 and as you can see I've been rotivating one of my plots and it's just raining a tiny little bit now. A little bit of rain forecast for the future and uh, I'm picking up potatoes, sort of uh, potatoes that I didn't quite pick up last year and um, picking up stones and putting in the barrow. Uh, the land is breaking down quite well. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a little quick rundown on the rotivator. Now I've been using this rotivator for about the last th four years. It's a friend of mine's. It's on the sort of loan and I think it's of Chinese manufacture and I think it's probably a copy of a Honda. We've had one or two problems, you know, like the, the rope break, um, contaminated petrol, uh, obviously the V-belt breaking, um, but really it's just a fantastic rotivator. There's the V-belt, um, and that's the clutch mechanism connected onto the, that bottom pulley. And that big pulley there is actually made of plastic, would you believe it? But it survived, and obviously you put the wheel down when you want to move it. One of the big things about it is 6.5 horsepower. That's a lot of power. Um, so you've got the power there if you want to really whoosh it up. Here's the two, two of the controls. Choke, doesn't need much choke. It, you know, normally starts first time. Petrol on and off. So that's petrol on, that's petrol off. Kill switch on the front here and another kill switch on the handlebars plus the throttle here and that's the clutch I've had to uh, make a clutch cable for it you can get a clutch cable off of eBay where you can make it to your own length with all the all the little bits and attachments so that's what I've had to do there so that's excellent this lands you know not too bad quite clay down the bottom, picking stones out as I go and putting the stones in the barrow. And I'm going to cart them up to put them on the sheet. So this is the main of the land I've done. Absolutely broken it down beautiful. There's a bit of uh, chard there, Swiss chard, which I've left. And there's some borage there and a mole plant, which I've left. Um, borage is good for the bees and the butterflies. Got some mashua coming up, which the frost hasn't really killed, so that's good. Now this big blue sheet, it was on this bit here, so I've tipped it over to over here onto some rubbish ground to clear the rubbish ground off, and I've uh, rotivated that, that big patch. So I've got quite a good area now to plant some potatoes and stuff in. My friendly blackbird been with me this afternoon. We normally get a robin up here, but blackbird's been up here collecting up uh, worms and grubs and things. Presumably he's collecting it for some baby blackbirds. So, I've got some potatoes here. They're, they're white ones. Um, I'm not quite sure what they are. I've just been digging them up down there as I've been rotivating. And there might be a blight resistant one, I don't, can't remember. But anyway, I'm going to put them in the row here of like my early potatoes. So they'll get picked before, before the potato blight comes on in late summer. And what I've done is I've cheated a bit because I've done the row out with the rotivator. I've uh, got the rotivator a couple of three times in like there in a row to dig the soil out to make it easier to make it make a bit of a trench so I don't have to do much too much digging. So that's got that row in. I can earth them up later. I've sort of loosely sheeted this end of the this allotment down 
but I've uh, put a plank there over the sheet to run the rotavator across the sheets. It's quite good that bit because it's just got this wheel on the front you see so you can you can easily run that along. back in the car, safe and sound, so I can lock that up tonight, secure.